Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz. Today we are going to talk about the budget constraint at the level of intermediate microeconomics. So you know that in intermediate microeconomics, you are going to see a lot of parameters instead of numbers. And in the beginning, it's going to look a little bit intimidating. So my advice for you is this, be patient with yourself and eventually you will get used to it. Just give it some time. So today we're going to draw on our budget line. So we have two goods, good one and good two. And the price of good one and good two are P1 and P2 respectively. We have a budget M dollars. So your budget constraint is P1 times X1. X1 is the number of good one you're going to purchase. So P1 times X1 plus P2 times X2, X2 is the number of good two you're going to purchase. So P1 X1 plus P2 X2 must be less than or equal to your budget M. And we're going to draw this budget line. So the first question you're going to ask yourself is this. If I use all my money to buy good one, then how many units of good one can I purchase? So your budget is M dollars and the price of good one is P1. And therefore, if you use all your money to buy good one, then you'll be able to purchase M divided by P1 units of good one. So think about this. If you have a budget of $20 and the price of an apple is $2, then how many apples can you buy? If you buy only apples and no other fruit, then the answer will be 20 divided by 2 and that will give you 10 apples. So that's where we find our first uh, intercept at good one. M divided by P1. That's the number of uh, good one I can purchase if I don't buy any good two. And the second question is, if I only buy good two, then how many units of good two can I purchase? And the answer will be M divided by P2 units of good two. So think about this, suppose the price of an orange is $1 and you have $20, then if you don't buy any apple, then how many oranges can you buy? The answer will be 20 divided by 1, which gives you 20 oranges. So I can find the other intercept, M divided by P2. So here is the number of good one I can purchase, and here's the number of good two I can purchase. Connect the two points, that will be my budget line. So I can purchase any point on the budget line or inside the budget line. So that would be your budget set. So we can see the budget set would be this pink area and our budget line is this blue line. So we can find the slope of the budget line. The slope of budget line is rise over the run. And we know that suppose we're going from point A to point B, then what is the rise and what is the run? So we know that the rise is here. We're going actually going down from M over P2 to 0. That's the rise actually going down. So we know the rise is actually negative M over P2. What about the run? We're going to the right. So the run is M over P1 right here. And after I manipulate the parameter, I will find that the answer is actually negative P1 over P2. And the slope of the budget line has a meaning. So what does that mean? The slope of the budget line is actually the opportunity cost of good one in terms of good two. Using plain English, it will be like this. In order to get one extra unit of good one, how many units of good two do I have to sacrifice? So for example, going back to our apple and orange example, so suppose this is apple and that's oranges, and the price of an apple is $2, the price of an orange is $1. Then the slope of the budget line will be negative P1 over P2, that will be 2 over 1, and that gives you negative 2. So what does that mean? That means in order to consume one more apple, in order to buy one more apple, I have to pay this $2. And because I pay this $2 on one apple, I cannot use the $2 to buy two oranges. Meaning, in order to get one apple, 
I have to sacrifice two oranges. So that's the meaning of the budget line. And the reason why we have a negative sign here is that it means sacrifice. In order to get one unit of good one, I have to sacrifice P1 over P2 units of good two. So this is our budget constraint. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.